Jacka? Yeah, uh, everybody can dream, right? So, I mean, if I just put it on myself and just think about it a lot, maybe we'll get there at the end of the season. So. It's really not a dream, though, considering you guys know you can do it. You've done it already once. That is very true. I mean, I, we have all the potential on this team to get there again. So it's just a matter of just taking it game by game and just not becoming complacent, really. Hey, Jordan, Jay said a few minutes ago that he thinks they, this offense could be best ever. When somebody said best ever comes, and he goes, no, best ever. Do you guys have those kind of aspirations? I definitely, uh, I think this offense is going to do something that's very unheard of here. As far as the best ever, we had some guys come down from, I think it was uh, Wisconsin or somewhere like that in Nebraska from back in the day, and they told us about their stats, and they were just ridiculous. So uh, we can definitely uh, strive to be the best offense in this stadium and try to hopefully maybe get in the top 10 offenses ever. But um, but I'm definitely excited to see what this offense can do. Is it, is it about the, when you talk about being excited, is it about the, the wide swath of talent? It seems like there are a lot of different. I, I mean, you think of Sean, I mean, he just has so many options as far as where to deliver the ball and who can run it. I feel like our offense is the most experienced part of our team. Uh, like, just with all the depth that we have at every position, uh, we don't have to replace a lot of people from last year. So I feel like it's going to be really the strength of our team. And then just with all the playmakers that we have out there, the skill positions, I feel like it's going to be very interesting to see how defenses try to cover it just with uh, the people we have in the backfield as well as the people we have split out. So. First, when you just talked about uh, one of the biggest strengths on this team is the depth that you all have at tight end. Um, as opposed to last season when after you, it's pretty much nobody and you know, just a bunch of freshmen with no experience. Um, how, how much of the uh, pressure does that take off of you knowing that you have those guys behind you that are reliable? It definitely takes off a lot of pressure. I mean, last year in the big games, I just know from the national championship, I played every play except for five. So, I mean, that kind of just plays a toll on my body just with all them reps. And then I had six last year, but Sec was still coming back from injuries. It was never 100%. So, and then just having the guys this year, like Mylon and Garrett and Cannon and DJ and all them, it's it's going to be very helpful just helping me out, just take off some of the snaps and stuff like that. Like, not have to worry about coming off the field and just going right back in the next play, like kind of giving them their time. But uh, it's definitely going to be helpful for this whole offense. I mean, just getting them the experience they need, just not only for this year, but for next year. So. It's good to have, finally have this game maybe allow you to stop thinking about the last game of play and how close you were. Uh, and, and I'm sure you play a break at night thinking about a play here or play there. Is it good to just have this much to finally uh, close the door off against the close Yeah, definitely. I mean, I probably watched that game from last year probably seven or eight times on YouTube, just going through the whole thing, just watching it. But uh, to play Auburn this week, it's just exciting. I mean, it's game week, so I mean, everybody's excited around the stadium. Uh, We're just excited to see some new faces across the ball, and we're just ready to go show people what we can do. Environment, this crowd, you've played games like this before. Some of these younger guys are going to get off the tennis and foul and I mean, if you really think about it, it could be like a home game. I mean, there's going to be a lot of orange in the stands. So, But just to tell them to just focus on what they can control. I mean, the crowd noise is definitely going to be there. It's going to be a loud place to play. And I'm, I mean, I'm excited to play there because, I mean, it's a very unique place. And uh, just like I said, just keep them focused on what they can control uh, and just put them in the environment. I know we do it in the indoor on Thursdays, play it with very loud music and stuff like that just to try to get used to stuff. But um, other than that, they just got to take it on their own one. I mean, you really can't tell them about the environment. They kind of have to like kind of see it. And then uh, as soon as you uh, get on the field for the first time, it kind of just goes away. So. Inexperienced guy, you have behind you. Have you passed down your wisdom to them? I want you to wait on them to yeah. ask you questions. I try to do it as much as possible. I mean, whenever I'm not in at practice, I'm kind of just sit on the side watching them, seeing what they're doing, try to critique their route running or just tell them different like like tricks to the trade kind of thing. But um, they come ask me questions. I try to answer them the best I can, but they're only going to be as ready as I get them. So I'm just trying to just give them everything I know kind of thing. When you made the decision to come back, is the games like this that you came back to play in? And maybe this one also setting the stage for bigger games down the road? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I love playing against SEC schools just because, I mean, they're like the face of college football. They're the bigger divisions and stuff like that. So these games are always fun to play, and I'm really excited. I haven't played Auburn. Uh, I have a lot of friends that go there as well. So it's it's just going to be a fun game for me. Is anybody on the football team? Nobody on the football team. Have you you given any 
thought to the fact that this is your last season of as an entire yeah, it really, it really hasn't, it really hasn't hit me yet. I mean, just going through game week and all this kind of stuff. But uh, I definitely feel like when I do get on the field, because I mean, we all huddle up as a tight end core whenever we go on the field, and normally the senior does the talking. And last year that was sick. So I mean, that's probably the time that's going to hit me. It's going to be my last first game of the season playing for Clemson. So, but yeah, it'll definitely hit me on that first game. What do you think you'll say? It's hard to say. Uh, I'm just going to try to keep them as confident as possible. Just let them know that if I'm out of the game, then I'm depending on you to get the job done. I have nothing but faith in you kind of thing. Now we're talking about the teams that maybe have a run, a good year, and then they come back down, a good year, come back down. How important is this that this team doesn't have a letdown after a run? Like, where you take pretty close to the top line here. Is it a point of emphasis that we want to maintain that year every year, not be that team that shows up every seven, eight, eight years? Uh, I definitely feel that we can maintain where we were from last year, just going into this season. But uh, it's just a matter of just bringing on the young guys, really, and just trying to hold them up to our standard. Because we have had a lot of guys that went on to play in the national championship, and a lot of those guys came back. So we do have a lot of experience. And then, like I said, just bringing those younger guys along where they can just stay in it with us and just stay focused the whole year. You like playing the SEC. Is there any kind of, even just when you guys are having fun after practice, any kind of conference pride on the stake at all for you guys? Do you look at that at all? I definitely do. I mean, when I was picking schools uh, to come to in college, I wanted, I didn't want to go to the SEC because I feel like if you go there, you're not really going to play until your redshirt junior year, redshirt senior year. That's kind of what went around my whole high school. So I wanted to go to a top ACC program. That's why I came here. And then just playing the SEC, I feel like you're playing on like the biggest stage when you're playing in schools like that. And then I get excited when FSU goes out there and beats Florida and all them. Because I just, I think this division is going to be like one of the better divisions after a couple more years come by. So do you still kind of feel like the ACC is maybe the underdogs of the SEC when you're looking top to bottom? I definitely think we're, we're going to be the underdogs for a while until we just, just keep proving ourselves wrong, really just winning more national championships and whatnot. One of your personal reasons for coming back was not only winning a national championship, but also a Mackey Award, your finalist last year. Um, having a full complement of wide receivers and all kinds of weapons galore on offense, it's got to take away from your numbers a little bit, but on the other hand, teams won't be able to focus on you as much as maybe some other teams, uh, particularly in the red zone. Is, is that kind of a double-edged sword as far as that goes? Yeah, was def that definitely played a big part in like deciding whether to come back or not, but hopefully Mike takes, takes away like all their attention from me and uh, all the other players out there. But um, I feel like Deshaun's going to do a great job distributing the ball, getting everybody their touches and stuff like that. So I'm not really too worried about it. I'm just going to do whatever I can like when I don't have the ball in my hands because then that's when the ball like seems to find you the most. So. Guillermo said a bit ago that he thought this offense had a chance to be one of the best ever, not just in the school history, but in the history of the game. Just kind of your, your thoughts on that comment and the potential you guys have. I definitely think we have the potential to be the best team to ever play in this stadium, the offense. And uh, other than that, like on the best team ever in college football, I feel like there's some schools back in the day that rushed for almost 500 yards a game. So that's going to be hard to reach, but I mean, we can always strive to be the best. And uh, that's all I'm really asking of this offense this year is just go out there and just give it your all. And then after the season's over, then we'll hopefully be up there with them top tier teams.